everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to go over some of the CNC for the Snapmaker. Um, now to get it set up, you want to have this board installed, you want to take off your other stuff that you've had on there, whatever. This is the one that is made specifically for the CNC process. Um, now to put this on, you're going to need 14 of your M4 by 10 hex socket head cap screws, not the flat head cap screws like we've been using. You want the socket head ones, the uh, flat head ones will not reach down far enough into the frame to hold this into place. So we start off by putting your 14 screws on and then we're going to work on getting the tooling set up. Also we're going to need our um, acrylic sheet for this process. This is what we're going to be using to machine and make our phone holder which is one of the presets for the machine. So to get this set up and locked into place we're going to need our M4 by 70 screws with the wing nuts attached to them. We need our fixture accessory and our arch fixture. Now there's four sets of each of this, four pieces each of this, and we're going to use that to hold down the corners. So it says very specifically in the instructions they want it set up like this. There are different angles or places that you can put this um, accessory right here. They want it closest to the outside as possible. Now I'm looking at the machine itself and I'm definitely going to keep a close eye on this when it starts running if I have to stop it because I really think one of these is going to end up hitting the tooling head. They're really high. And I couldn't get them any farther away from it yet, still position it where they wanted it to be. So I took and I put it on an angle so it could stay there yet hold the piece because otherwise I put it out here and it wouldn't reach. So I guess maybe put it here. It didn't have to be on the corner, but I figured do it like this just to keep it out of the way of everything. So we have that. Our next step is to be getting our tooling head set up. This is our ER11 A collet and nuts. Open this up here. Check this out. There's our little collet. There's the head for it. We get that opened up and check that out. So for the next part of this, we are going to need our 14 millimeter and our 17 millimeter wrench along with our collet, our lock nut here. Also we are going to use the flat end mill on this. This is um, 3.175 millimeter for that. So these are the things that we're going to need. Next um, we're going to take and start off by getting this guy seated in here properly, nice and flat. It does click I would double check and make sure when you're tightening this down, make sure that it is not on an angle. There is a little bit of wobble room in there, and you, you don't want this to be seated wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up, and we'll go from there. So we're taking and tighten down the nut here to the, with the collet in it to the machine tool head. Uh, you can't see it. It's really tiny, but the flat end mill is in there. Um, I said make sure that the end of the tooling was parallel with the end of the collet, so I did insert it completely in flush with the bottom of it. Um, as far as I know, that is the correct way to do it. So we have this set up, minus taking the little paper off of here. Um, we have our tooling set up, plugged in, everything is ready to go. This is the, as far as the book says, official setup for the CNC. Uh, Snapmaker 2.0 tooling. So I hope you guys like this and we'll have another video up soon.